the, the war in Ukraine has been going on for over a year now. Is it the U.S. position that during the course of all of that time that China has not provided any lethal weaponry to Russia? We have seen that through some Chinese companies, uh, uh, there, uh, uh, there may have been dual-use items uh, that have uh, gone, uh, but we haven't seen any confirmation or indication that the Chinese have provided lethal weapons, lethal capabilities to the Russian Ministry of Defense uh, throughout this conflict. They have not done that. And obviously, as I said yesterday, we don't think it's in their best interest to do that. And quite frankly, it would be inconsistent with so, so many of the things that President Xi has said uh, that he wants to see as a result of this war in Ukraine, including their statements today. Why do you think that's the case? Why do you think that they have uh, not done that yet? And do you think it has a lot to do with what President Biden has told President Xi, what EU leaders have told uh, President Xi, and that is if they do so, they risk major <coughs> sanctions being placed upon them by not only the U.S., but also by the EU, their two largest trading partners? I certainly can't speak for President Xi. That's well beyond my writ. Um, what I would say is we have communicated privately to the Chinese. Um, and you've heard Secretary Blinken talk about this. We've also said it publicly uh, that uh, that such a move would would, uh, would would certainly involve consequences. But more importantly, uh, we believe, and we've said this too, that 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 this shouldn't be seen by the Chinese as something that's in their best interest to help Mr. Putin slaughter more innocent Ukrainians. To what's the word they use? The Escalation of tension and prolongation of hostilities, well, that's one way to do that. And uh, again, if, if we're taking them at their word, of what they want to see happen, it's hard to square the circle between that, that statement, and the provision of, of lethal weapons. So we don't believe it's in their best interest. Uh, a, a country like China that has a very powerful economy and, um, and, uh, and uh, does have uh, influence around the world to want to see that, uh, that influence stained by helping Mr. Putin uh, murder more Ukrainians. Go ahead, Brian, in the back. Thanks. Uh, John, I guess the uh, <coughs> over here. Thanks. <laughs> follow up to that question. Is there any indication that the uh, visitation by Xi to uh, Putin could lead to a de escalation? Have you all seen anything that the statement that they put out about de escalation, in fact, was a warning to Russia? And we're still working our way through the language here. Um, so I, I don't want to get into a, a deep analysis, but coming out of what we've seen today, we haven't seen anything that they've said they put forward um, that that gives us hope that this war is going to end anytime soon. As a matter of fact, Mr. Putin said something to the effect today, or his spokesman Peskov, I think, said something to the effect today that that they are willing to negotiate, but it's the West and Ukraine that is refusing, which of course is absolutely false. So I, we've seen no, uh, I don't think the meeting today gives us great expectations that the war is going to end anytime soon. And then as a qu quick follow-up to that, is there any indication that we would be willing to talk with, uh, or let me put it another way, is there any indication that Russia is showing any signs that they would back off at any point in time? Are they still, you know, guns blazing? No sign at all that Mr. Putin is changing his calculus.